the subtraction video on Amber's method. To do Amber's method, we're going to first start by looking at this problem and seeing how we can make it a little easier on ourselves by rounding this number um, up to a, a whole tens number. So here we'll, what we'll do is we'll add 4 right to get to 30. And then we're going to add 4 to the top because we want to keep the problem balanced, right? We, um, if we change the bottom number by 4, we have to change the top by 4 to keep it um, even. So now we'll get, this will become 78 minus 30. Now, here, you may think, oh, that this way is still... Um, too hard or sometimes you notice that oh if this was a whole number two it'd make the subtraction problem a lot easier so what if we change this and add it add it a plus two up here and we'll make that 80 well 80 minus 30 is an easy problem that would be 50 but because we added two up here to finish the problem we have to subtract two at the end to keep it balanced. So because we added 2 but didn't add 2 to the bottom, we have to subtract 2 at the end. So here 50 minus 2 is 48. And that's how you do Amber's method. So how about we practice on some other problems? So here, let's try with 83 minus 67 and 72 minus 35. So you can go ahead and pause the video here and try these problems on your own. Okay, hope you had a chance to try these problems on your own. Again, here we're going to try and get this to a, uh, a whole number or, or sorry, a number that has all zeros except for the first. So here we're going to add 3. And because we add 3 in the bottom, we add 3 to the top. Yeah. And so this will turn into 86 minus 70. Again, here we might have noticed, oh, this number is really close to 90. So let's add 4 to make it a whole number. So we're going to add 4 to make this 90. And here, 90 minus 70 is an easy problem. That's just 20. And what we'll do from here is we have to remember to subtract 4 at the end. So because we added 4 on the top but didn't add 4 down here, we have to now subtract the 4, which gives us 16. Okay. Let's try um, on this problem. Here we're going to try to get to 40, so we're going to add 5. What does this turn into? Well, if we add 5, top and bottom, we'll get 77 minus 40. Now we're going to look at this number and say, well, that if that was just 80, it would be a lot easier. So we're going to add 3 to get to 80. So we'll change that to 80 now. 80 minus 40 is 40. But the last step, remember, we have to subtract 3 here because we added 3 up here but did not add 3 here. So subtract 3. So now we have 40 minus 3, 4. An answer of 37. Not bad. Okay. This problem will also work with a bigger number. So let's go ahead and try it with a three digit number. Say our number was 302 minus 158. So go ahead, you can pause the video here and try it out on your own. Okay, hope you had a chance to try it on your own. 
Again, here we're gonna try and make um, the, all the digits. What do we add so that um, all the digits are zero except for the first? Well, we're gonna get to the closest, the nearest hundreds, and that would be 200. So we're gonna plus 42 here, plus 42. And if we do that, we'll get 200 down here. 302 plus 42 will give us 344. Again, now here what we're going to do is we're going to say, well, maybe this is too hard of a subtraction. If we just added, um, say something that will make it easier for us, you have two options here. You can add this all the way up to 400, which then you would have to add um, 56 and then minus 56 at the end but e I find that people have an easy time minusing 50s so if we just go to 50 it would be easier so instead what we'll do is just add 6 right and this will change so 344 plus 6 will give us 350 So now, 350 minus 200 is an easier problem, right? 350 minus 200 is 150. Oops. And because we added 6 up here, we have to take away the 6 at the end because we didn't add 6 down here. So we're going to subtract 6. And 150 minus 6 is 1. 44. So, hope you learned something from this video. Uh, good luck, have fun, and we'll see you next time.